Here is our base survey drawing. Here is the assumed 5000-5000 local coordinate system. This is the surveyed project. And as a point of reference, so we have traced on here a major intersection. This might be another control point for the local survey. The local survey base point has to have a latitude and a longitude in order for us to create a custom coordinate system. So I'm going to slide this over to the side, type in map, and scroll down to map coordinate system library. Now the basis of this coordinate system, I use the British National Grid. So I'm going to type in the search. I come up with the British National Grid. I'm going to click Duplicate. Now this will take a moment for it to register. Notice that the icon says it's a user-defined coordinate system and it has a dash 1 behind. I'm going to highlight on this and I'm going to click on Edit. When we edit, it takes a moment for it to launch. I'm going to slide this off to the side so I can read my numbers. And I need to change the code. I'm going to call this a local and I'll give it a description. I can't give it a code or an ID. I do want to make sure that it lands in a category that I can trace and I'm going to leave the default categories from the British National Grid. Next, I go to the projection category. In the projection category, this is where I input the parameters that define the custom coordinate system. The central meridian is going to be 2.75 and that is negative because east is positive, west is negative. The origin latitude, north is positive, so I'm going to type in 52.70416666666. Now the false easting for this is 5000. The false northing for this is also 5000. Don't worry about the scale reduction unless this local survey covers a very long or large, large area. I'm going to click on Save. I don't need to change any of these other parameters, so I'm going to click on Save. It will take a moment to register, and this coordinate system will be saved with this drawing. And we'll close the editor. And now when I do a search for local, we see that the local Shrewsbury that we have just defined is now part of our coordinate system library. So now I can close this. I can assign the coordinate system. And in the categories, they were in Great Britain. We should be able to drop down and see my local Shrewsbury coordinate system and apply this. Let's see if this really works with the geolocation tool. Let's turn the aerial mapping on. We see that the aerial map is adjusted to the correct latitude and longitude. 